If you are looking for an excellent fighting knife, look no farther than K-Bar. This is the Tonto series from K-Bar. It's a full size. And this particular knife is made for one thing and one thing only, and that's fighting. You can use it for utility type uses around the campground, in the field, or whatnot. But keep in mind, the design of this is made for knife fighting. For self-protection, self-defense, uh, whether you're military or as a civilian or even in the woods against animals. Uh, a lot of people don't think of knives as good self-defense weapons for animals and yeah compared to guns they aren't but back in the day the good old frontiersmen had to rely on stuff like old bowie knives in order to defend themselves against certain animals because back in the day the musket was a one-shot affair. You fired your round if you didn't drop the animal then guess what if you didn't have a repeating black powder pistol then you had to go to your knife and hopefully that worked. But in any case, this is a $50 to $70 knife. That's the price range that you see normally online. I got this from Amazon.com for $51, bucks, which is a damn good deal for a K-Bar full-size tonneau blade. This is the 8-inch model. They do have a smaller, I believe it's the 5.5-inch or 5 and 3 quarter inch um, I'll have to look back online. And I may get one of those smaller ones here in the future. This has the, uh, you have two choices. You can have a, rather, a regular leather sheath or you can have the plastic more so-called tactical one as you can see right here. This one has the loops where you can use 550 cord or it has the uh, slots that you can use molly cord um, to affix it to your molly or whatnot. It's up to you. It also has a belt loop right here. So if you just want to run it on a belt, you can do so. This sheath it's very secure, and for those of you that are really big in a security for your knife, you have two straps right here, one here, and then one here. Although these straps are not needed. For example, I can take both of these off, and you can see the knife is still held in place. That is because right here and right here are two tabs. In order to uh, draw the knife from the sheath, you have to push down like so, moving those tabs out of the way, and out comes the knife. And there it is. It's a full serrated tonneau blade, very well made. The quality of the K-Bars I've always loved. Uh, it's made in the USA. It's certainly not the strongest knife out there. There are some knives out there that are stronger than the K-Bars, but again, if you're looking for a good, solid fighting knife, look no farther. I'm a big fan of the fixed blade knives. I may do some reviews on folders, but uh, out of the knife uh, category, I like the fixed blade better than the folders. That's just me. Again, as you can see, it has a very non-reflective finish on the blade. The blade does come very sharp from the factory, which is a plus. A lot of the times when you get knives, it's either dull or the sharpness is uneven. For example, a lot of times you may see where the serrated area may be sharp, but again, it kind of runs dull as you pass over this area, and then maybe it's sharp on the tip. But this blade is very sharp. I could probably get a little bit sharper, but it is sharp enough. Now it has a non-slip non grip on it, so that way if your hands are grimy, muddy, bloody, you can still get a good grip on this knife and do what you need to do. So again, this is a real good quality fighting knife if you're looking for one. It's simple. The Tonto blade, as you can see here, it's reminiscent of the Japanese Katana blades. The reason they made these is because the blade, it's very aggressive, it's very strong. It's a very strong design. It's great for uh, stabbing and slashing. That's where it shines. In fact, there's some testimonials of some soldiers that were in Iraq. They were in Iraq during the time when uh, President Bush came up and said, Mission accomplished. And there was that kind of uneasy so called ceasefire right after that. And some of these guys, their stories were their officers in charge because of President Bush saying mission accomplished and because they were trying to do the whole winning of hearts and minds, they didn't allow the soldiers in their vehicles to carry magazines with their weapons. Uh, this was a snafu that happened a couple of times and believe me, those officers were relieved of duty promptly because that is the stupidest thing I ever heard, but it did happen. Uh, in any case, there was an accident, the convoy got uh, halted and some people tried to get into Humvees to steal stuff. You gotta remember, Back then, near that phase of the war, not all Humvees were up-armored. 
Uh, there was a lot of just standard Humvees out there, didn't have any real big armor, and they were just doing convoys. So they were actually pretty vulnerable. And Iraqis would come up trying to steal stuff. Well, there was a couple of guys armed with K-Bar tonneau blades, and they kept that crowd at bay. And I can see why. Because if somebody had one of these, and they kind of knew what they were doing, and they took a defensive posture, I surely would not want to get near them. So with that said, I'll go ahead and stop. This is not really a technical review. Um, I can put the technical specs up in the description below, uh, or I could put them up on the video here as we're watching. I just wanted to give my thoughts on the knife. If you're looking for a good fighting knife, look no farther than K-Bar. Made in the USA, used by the U.S. military for years. It's tough, it's durable, it works. So thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, and when you can, buy American.